spirit and gems like to keep the mass of the memorial of today, auction memorial of Saint John the 23rd, the Pope, a man of such a charismatic and well organized, as you remember, he's remembered for having started the Vatican II, which brought a lot of changes in the Catholic Church. So let us pray that our faith always may be anchored in the person of Christ and we may witness his love and mercy among our brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I am. Preside over your church, of a whole people, and benefit them by word and example. Keep safe, we pray, by his intercession, the shepherds of your church, along with the flocks entrusted to their care, and direct them in the way of the eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously to his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel about his son descended from David according to the flesh, but established as son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness. Through resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy, grace to you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Amen. Respond, so your son, the Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands, break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will rise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah they repented, and there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. I don't know about your own personal experience if you have ever had a situation that you really want to pray deeply with your sincerity and honesty for a sign because you have to embark on making a very major decision. I've done it and I've seen the hand of the Lord. The moment Maybe you are on the crossroad and they always asking the Lord for a sign. That means you want to seek and you want to remain committed to do the will of God. Because it is not all that easy. Yet, yes, some people they are given a sign which is bland, quite clear. It is so expressive. Some, it is not all that clear what you want to do, what you want to fulfill. I remember when I finished my novitiate, I was on the crossroad and they asked for a sign. A couple of things happened and I said, yes, I think the Lord is calling me in this way. And since then, I always say, your will be done. If God is one who has given you a mission, a vocation, of commitment in the family, in the place of work, whatever you are supposed to do, yes, you are not trying God, but with all honesty, you pray and ask him, he will speak to you. Remember, Jesus giving these people because they were anxious. Somehow, having experienced him, they, they got some... Uh, uh, their bellies were satisfied because he provided the bread. But always Jesus was turning them to the eternal reality. And significantly, when we are doing our own prayer and asking for a sign and Pray. Let us remember to reflect the life of Jesus, his public ministry. He did not do anything for selfish motive. He did it to fulfill the will of the Father and for the people. The other aspect is, even if we pray for a sign, most of, of us kind of grumble around because maybe the result is not what we wanted. A little bit challenging, painful, a little bit not comfortable. Hey, yet, we need to see in the aspect of Jesus, his death and resurrection. What did he do? He endured pain and suffering for the greater glory. Our passage may be eh, accompanied with some challenges here and there, which are not a very nice experience. 
in terms of pain, in terms of suffering, yet the end result is that you are fulfilling the will of God. So let us pray for that and ask the, the Lord that he may give us strength every day, every moment in our life that yes, a moment we sit down and say I need a sign, I need a clarification, I need some guidance Lord, help me, send your spirit in my discernment process that all may be for your greater glory, for your greater name. Trusting in the abundant hope of Christ, let us bring our prayers together with one voice. For the church and all who lead it, may the, may the Lord bless and uphold them in their labor for the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have been elected to serve our communities, May God embolden them with hearts for servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who struggle with the depression and anxiety, may God's peace be with them in their hardship. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community gathered here today, may the Lord feed us with love and truth and guide us in the ways of wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have recently passed away from this life, may God bring them into eternal rest with him. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the parishioners of saints, Philip and James, let us pray to the Lord. For our personal prayers that we bring to the Lord today through the intercession of Saint John the Twenty Third. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Almighty Father, your Son is a sign for all generations throughout time. Hear the prayers we offer today through his holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory 
in honor of blessed Saint John the Twenty Third, a ministry to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John the 23rd, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by, by, by the example of his holy life and teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as uh, we, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 sending down your spirit upon them like they do for us, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took a bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of our Lord and confess our resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, particularly on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, and Timothy Cardinal, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters of women asleep in hope resurrection, and all our guiding your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Her Muslims, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Saint, John the 23rd, and all the saints who have pleased you through the ages, may merit to be for heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the Savior's man by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Lord, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and thy will be done, and thy will be done, and thy will be done. Give us all this day that thy will be done, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of the mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all disgrace as a way to place a hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ and Savior of us. He saved me like he saved me. But not our sins, but for the faith of the church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with the way who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us all for each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
does pray. May the sacrament we have received, O oh Lord God, stir up in us in that fire of charity with which blessed Saint John the Twenty Third burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For in this you will find the Lord in your life. Thank you for praying. You have a good day. St. Michael, they are kingdom. Amen. Amen.